Today we're in Park City and we're shooting with the Sony a7C2 and the Sony 40mm f2.5 lens. This combination has quickly become one of my favorite go-to cameras because of the 33 megapixel sensor that you get inside of this tiny body. And on top of that, you have a top dial switch where you can switch between photo, video, and SNQ modes. Not to mention the a7C2 also shoots in S-Log3, so if you want to manipulate colors, it's at your disposal. You can shoot 4K24, 4K30, and 4K60. Not only is 33 megapixels enough to get you by with your street photography, but you can also use that in professional settings for professional work. There you go, very cute. They've decorated a bit. Looks a lot different than the summers, right? Which way should we go? Down or up? Well, it looks more interesting. Up? Up. We're shooting with the Sony a7C2 and we've got the 40 millimeter f2.5 lens. Check this out, you got some alleys up here. Take a photo. Just kind of snapping, we got manual settings. I like this setup because it's compact, it's I wouldn't say it's inexpensive, but uh, if you need to switch over to video, do 4K video, offers 4 to 2 10 bit. And then this setup, because it's so compact, is less flashy. So still around $2,800, $3,000 with taxes, but you get a 33 megapixel camera. Whew, <laughs> I'm not fit. Uh, 4K 30, 4K 60, and uh, still really high megapixels. That is passable for professional photography, but we're just doing some street photography around Park City. Here we go. Love the sound of the shutter. Yeah, let's keep walking. I like, I like Main Street, but going over here, you'll kind of see the styles of the houses, the back street. So we'll keep walking, get some steps in today. But yeah, you get the, all these houses that, uh, are all like unique, look a lot different than what you'll find anywhere else. This used to be an old mining city. Check this out though, look at that. So you got like the front of the house and then it looks tidy right here, but it's actually two stories, if not three stories. And looks like it's somebody's house. Pretty cool, right? So down here is the Banksy. You know how there's a Banksy over by the post office that everyone knows about? Have you seen this one down here? Uh-uh. All right, check it out, look. We'll go down, just watch your step. I try to tell some people, cause like Main Street's over there, I try to tell them last time that they could come over here and find the Banksy, but a lot of them like wouldn't come up cause I'm just a dude telling them, hey, follow me into this like dark alley and I'll show you a cool painting. So a lot of them were hesitant, but uh, this is another, another Banksy that a lot of people don't know about.
I want to try and photograph some people too. I think with the smaller setup like this, it's less invasive or people don't really care. But it's always still weird to point a camera at people like that are just kind of unsuspecting. <laughs> See how weird it is? It's weird, right? I think if you post up before, like if you plant your feet and then point the camera in the direction and make it seem like you're taking a photo really of something cool. else yeah. and they just happen yeah. to be in the shot. Do they need like a little beanie or something? My ears are freezing. Do you want to buy one? Yeah. I feel like, oh, there's a Rourke store. They sell beanies. Oh wow, lens cap. We all do it. And this Patagonia building is pretty cool too. Maybe like at the stop sign in there. Let this bus pass or trolley. Hey, cool beanie. Here, stay right there. Again, we're shooting with the Sony a7C2. Thanks for being here on the Street Photography channel. If you guys wanna check out more videos like this, I'll put a little link in the description up here for you. And uh, appreciate you guys being here. We just surpassed 500 subscribers so i'm pretty pretty stoked about it If you'd like to see more POV street photography, click this video right here. And if you'd like to see why the Sony a7C2 is my favorite daily carrier, click this video right here.